Hey guys and gals, welcome. In this video, I actually want to do a kind of an update video to the Class Lexion 780s that I did um, a while back. I will put the link down in the description to that video if you guys are not too familiar, if you guys don't remember. Uh, this video is actually a fix for the 780s. Uh, I did find a problem with these when I was uh, playing with them. And the problem is the grain speed that it unloads the hopper. Um, some of you guys may or may not notice this. Um, I noticed it kind of right away, uh, especially when I'm trying to unload when the uh, combine's running. Uh, it seems very problematic that way. Uh, basically, it just unloads really slow. So the problem is, especially this has a, a big header on it, and this combine's pretty fast on unloading or uh, just harvesting. It's hard to keep up unloading that hopper by the time it fills up. So basically, while it's running and driving down uh, a course, you basically can't unload it at all. So I'm going to show you here really quick what the problem is, and I'm going to show you how slow it unloads. And let me set up my stop clock here because I actually want to sh tell you how slow it's going. Let me get this aligned up here. And there we go. So you notice it kind of goes down a little bit slow. Normally uh, other combines, especially uh, this size, would normally just um, get that hopper empty pretty quick. Uh, especially uh, comparable to this size, the New Holland CR1090 uh, would empty a lot quicker than this. So we're still unloading. And like I said, trying to keep up with this while the machine is running the harvester, uh, you basically can't keep up with it. You'll never empty the hopper. It'll stay full um, the whole time. Uh, the only way you can actually uh, empty it is when it's full, but you're going to be sitting here for a while uh, just trying to unload it. And we're getting close to the minute mark here, and it's still not empty. Yep one minute and it's still not empty so this is not the this is the just the straight download one you get on modified I have another one on the other side over here that I modified and I'll show you how to modify that on the desktop once we get done here still going still going still going So we're looking at a minute and 36 seconds to unload that, and that's a long time to do that. That's kind of ridiculous. So we'll jump over to the other harvester. This is the modified one I did, and it's actually a pretty simple fix. Like I said, uh, towards the end of this video, we're going to jump down in the desktop, and I'll show you how to do it, and it just takes a couple of seconds. I mean, it's well worth it for uh, if you're going to be using these combines and if you love them just as much as I do. Um, it's well worth the um, the fix for it. So we got a minute 36 on this. Let's see how long this guy takes. Let's reset my stop clock. And there we go. Clock is running. So you notice right off the bat, look how fast the hopper is emptying. Uh, I did do comparisons against this uh, next to the New Holland. Uh, I believe this one still takes a l slightly little bit longer, uh, but it's still in the range to work uh, pretty good. So we're 35 seconds, roughly 35, 36, but I got 35, so. It's actually, the other one's running a minute 36, minute 35 maybe, if you uh, want to get technical, but it's running almost a minute uh, quicker, so 
there you go I mean yeah that is a lot quicker I believe like I said the New Holland um, CR 1090 it's roughly around that maybe um, like 32 seconds roughly but yeah you get the gist of it um, definitely you can keep up with it now when it's on the field over there and you're trying to unload it or uh, unload the hopper when you're running next to it uh, let me see if I can show you this really quick here if I can get up there uh, let's see if I can get get it up there I don't think I can he's already ready on load so now I can't show you but you get the idea I mean if you guys use this you will not be able to unload this while it's uh, on the field kinda sucks but I'm, I, don't, I don't know why the, it, it passed the uh, modders who did this I'm surprised it uh, got by them I've been meaning to send them a message but um, it's hard to get in contact with these modders sometimes and then have them get to fix the stuff that you need to be that that needs to be fixed and whatnot but yeah so we'll definitely uh, stick around and we'll see you on the desktop and I'll show you how to fix this guys so we'll see you on the desktop alrighty guys now since we're on the desktop we can get going on fixing the uh, Lexion 780s uh, you're going to have to do this with all three of them but they're basically the same file in each one of them so for example I'm using the Lexion 780 uh, the cat which was the one we saw in the video so we're going to open this just like normal with any um, uh, zip program or WinWar or uh, 7-zip uh, we're going to open this with WinWar because that's the one I prefer and we're actually looking for the uh, class Lexion 780TT.XML pull that out and that should be the same name in all three files so the other two um, zip files are going to have the same one Alrighty, open this with notepad or uh, notepad plus plus or whatever you want to use uh, since this is going to be a simple fix I'll use notepad go down to find and we're actually looking for overload and we're coming down here overload capacity and it's set at 130 which is uh, really low um, I'm going to actually put in 350 which is um, comparable to the two big um, um, combines in game uh, the case IH 9230 dual and a an, uh, new Holland uh, CR 1090 uh, this is the number I was going off since they're co comparable in size I decided to do that uh, the old one the old 780 that I had from um, I believe FS 13 and even the older one I was using before it actually had a higher uh, setting in here at 650. Um, I actually plugged that in. It was a little bit too fast. Um, but 350 works uh, really good. So I'm going to stick with stock numbers because stock numbers tend to work here. So you just put in 350, file, save, and that's it. Open this up again and just drag and drop this in here. And it's going to ask you to. Uh, put it in there I'll, I'll delete files after archiving which means it'll delete this because we're we don't need that file anymore we're done with it and we'll click that and it's already fixed and that's all you have to do here you just got to pop it right back into your uh, mod folders and you're all set so that's how you fix the class Lexion 7080 uh, Terra tracks the three pack um, the one I did the mod review before on the uh, grain capacity um, on loading a lot faster now so yeah I did notice that was a problem a while back and I did want to do this video so I finally got around to doing it so finally got it for you guys so hopefully you enjoy it now alright guys we'll see you next time bye bye